Regina residents head to the polls on Monday, but some people want to know who's funding the names on their ballot. A 2016 report found that candidates who receive donations from developers and corporations were twice as likely to be elected. One of the authors behind that report says that's concerning because city councils deal with the zoning of properties. If you're a developer, what you do is you buy raw land, usually often agricultural land, on the outside of a city. And what you then do is convert that land into land that can be developed by taking it through the zoning process. And in almost every province, municipalities are in charge of that zoning process. So they actually create wealth for developers. There isn't any evidence that these type of donations have influenced decisions in Regina, but some citizens are still concerned. In response, McDermott and the advocacy group Democracy Watch want information on campaign donors released before an election. McDermott says that would give voters more information about potential representatives. Incumbent Mayor Michael Fougere says developers should stay neutral, but are welcome to donate how they please. You're allowed to raise money and therefore it should be fine. But if the insinuation is somehow that if you raise money in a certain category of people, developers, or uh, may have a, a way through the door for decision making, I think that's, that's false. Fougere says any donations to his campaign this year go to a separate account so he doesn't know exactly who is donating or how much. We asked his campaign for those numbers. They did not respond. In 2016, eight developers donated more than $500 to Fougere for a total of $12,000. To add context, Tony Fiaco, who ran in 2016 and is running again this year, only raised a total of $2,400 in 2016. However, Fougere says he would be open to discussing rule changes in the future. When asked, mayoral candidates George Woldridge, Bob Pierce, and Darren Bradley all provided lists of who donated and the amounts. Jerry Flagel declined to release any finances before the election. Jim Elliott and Tony Fiaco say they are mostly self-financed. Sandra Masters' campaign has not responded to our requests. In an earlier interview, Masters said all donations go to an independent auditor, so she is not aware if she has received donations from any developers. I think there needs to be a little bit of distance between donations and what it is I stand for. I would never want uh, an interested party of any kind actually to think they had undue influence or sway on what I may do at City Hall. I think the intention has to be you serve the city first and whatever is best for the city is what needs to happen. So it looks like we'll have to wait until after the election to learn about contributions to Flagels, Masters and Fougere's campaign. In the long run, McDermott and Democracy Watch would like to see a ban for all corporate and developer donations in municipal campaigns. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Regina.